We're gonna review Super Mario Bros. 3 as a request from Joven Victoria. So this goes out to you, buddy. Okay, so the basic way out is to same as any Mario game for the NES. This is probably the best one since uh, Mario Bros. 1. So your mushrooms will make you grow. The fire flowers will uh, have you the ability to shoot fireballs. The new feature about Super Mario Bros. 3 is that you have some new power-ups, like um, the leaf, for instance, will turn into a raccoon. And as you run, you charge up your key meter, which allows you to fly. There's also new power-ups like uh, Tanuki, where you can um, turn into a statue or frog to make you swim better. So at the end of every stage, there is a slot machine. And um, depending on what you get, you can have a certain amount of 1-ups. Okay, this is the song that's probably the most memorable in Super Mario Bros. 3. This is used in Super Mario Galaxy, if anyone has played that game. So they have another key bar. That turns your coins into... I guess, uh... Bricks. So, the score one-ups in this game is fairly simple. Just like any Mario game, you need about 100 points to get one-ups. And you can score other one-ups by um, using the slot machine, which is which are the three, um, three little boxes on the bottom right corner. So the score, easiest way to score stars is to have your P meter full. Stars will give you five one-ups, flowers will give you three one-ups, and mushrooms will give you two one-ups. And if you have a star and the second star is either, uh, you have a star, and your second box is either a mushroom or a flower, you still get one one-up. So this is a little trick, so that I can get past 90% of the level. So we're in this, um, I guess, sky world or something. Or cloud area. Okay, so here's a little trick that everyone probably knows in Super Mario Bros. 3. So you go on this white brick and hold down for 6 seconds. That will bring you to the other side of the stage. Just continue right, and you'll enter Toad's house. And he'll give you a whistle, which I'll explain later. You can access it by pressing select and hitting it. So we're going to go to the spade. It's like a game of chance. Where you have to match your pictures. No! I didn't do it. Okay, so this is the first castle of the game. And, um, there's a little trick I'm gonna show you. The music is so much better than Super Mario Bros. 1. I mean, for this stage. Okay, so here's another trick everyone probably knows. Make a running start, and keep pressing... Keep holding your right on your D-pad and press up at once you're at the end. This will give you a secret whistle or recorder. So five is your typical uh, underground stage. Whee! That was fun. Generally, try to hit piranha plants with your tail. That doesn't really help very much. It's better to use a fire flower. So upbeat this one. <laughs> Sounds like rap. Okay, so this is the end of stage one five. So take a running start. And I got a three stars in a row. Sweet. Five one ups. So then we'll pass level six. 
So the mushroom house is Toad's house. There will be power-ups at any random treasure chest. We'll open this one, I guess. I got a mushroom. Yeah, like that helps. Okay, landing on that guy will trigger Hammer Brothers battle. So we're gonna go to the castle. Oh, it's terrible! The king has been transformed! Please, find the magic wand so we can change him back! Wow, Toad's sure bossy. Why doesn't he do it instead of Mario? So welcome to your first boss stage. These are your airships. Classic, um, song. It's, pro it's used in, um, as a remix in, uh, Super Mario Galaxy and Smash Brothers Brawl. I'm a very big, uh, Nintendo game music buff. So just be careful, these are the cannons, so they'll own you, and Bullet Bill also. So, once you hit this pipe, you're gonna have, you're gonna face, um, I guess Iggy Koopa. He's pretty easy to beat, just hit him three times in the, in the head and he'll give up. So you're gonna have six more stages like this, each with uh, battling uh, your different Koop the Koopas. You're gonna have Wendy, Lammy, uh, Morton, Ludwig, Roy, and Iggy. So he thanks you for saving him, and get a letter from Toadsoul. If you see any ghosts, be careful. They will give chase if you turn away. I have enclosed a jewel that will protect you. Princess Toadstool. Okay, so this is the second world, the desert stage. We're gonna skip it by using the whistle. Classic Zelda 1 tune. So, um, we'll use it one more time. Skip to the last level, last stage of the, uh, of the game. If you were to play this game like in full, it'll take you about maybe three hours, two to three hours. It usually takes me about two. So we're gonna skip it. Seems you must love hell because it has a heart shape. So we're using a typical level. This level really puzzles me. Like, how in the fuck are fish surviving in lava? Like. That is like, what is this? This doesn't make sense. But this is a Mario game, so like, I don't care. As long as I have Mario, it's, it's one of the best games. So this will give you a treasure. Oh, leaf! Good. So I'll show you what that present does that Peach gave you. It's a pea with a wing on it. I can just get to it. Trying to figure out the buttons. There we go. So just, that gives you infinite power ups. Wow, that didn't help at all. Okay, this is probably the second hardest stage in the game. And rightfully so. Look, look how fast it's going. And have like random wrenches flying at you by the uh, wrench, mole wrench, the moles, I think. Yeah, these are moles, but they look like beavers here. And you'll die a lot in this stage if you're really not careful. You need to um, hold the run button as you're jumping because you're gonna need it. And uh, try not overshooting your jumps too. That's gonna kill me. Kill you. Okay, so we're at the last stage part. Okay, so this is your um, typical fortress boss. He's easy to kill. Just hit him three times on the head. Make sure, make sure he's not ducking because um, if you hit the spikes. If you're small, you're dead. Okay, so open up new part. 
Okay, so two levels and a cave to the pass. Good choice. This stage, now we're gonna get to Bowser. So we're gonna do a little running start. This is why you needed your beats uh, so that you can get away from the laser. So watch the, the flower, uh, the fire, and watch for those, I don't know, like nuclear pancakes or something. Crystal balls with it. So we got a one up. So just be careful. Try not here is best not to overshoot your jumps. Because and don't don't stay too long on on those platforms because they they fall. Jump up, hang up for the power bar, and we'll just fly over. This is the last room in the game, and rightfully so, just like in Mario Brothers 1, we're right near Bowser. Okay, Bowser time. So the trick is to hit him in the middle, so that way he falls and fa falls his own. Uh, Death or something. Yeah. Ah, oh, damn. Uh -oh. I'm in shit trouble. You can just duck on this. Ducking doesn't help. Fuck! Killed me! Let's try again. Take two. Whoa, that was really close. Come on, Bowser. Ah! Oh, just toasted my ass. Take three. Third time's a charm. Now, at this point, you still can move, just don't fall in this hole because that will kill you and you have to redo the game. Uh, the level, which is not good. So now we go to Princess Peach. We rescue her, as as Mary often does. Thank you, but our princess is in another castle. Just kidding. Ha ha ha! Bye bye. I didn't find that joke funny. I find it kind of annoying. Like in Mario 1, trying to rescue the princess and have like 8 stage, eight different castles to go to. So this is your stages. Grassland. Desert land. Water land. Giant land. Sky land. Iceland the horse. I find the most confusing and hell land. And that's it. <laughs>